Copper ranks third in the world after iron and aluminum in terms of quantities produced and consumed. We have copper in our bodies too. A human body can contain up to 80 oh. grams of this metal. Copper regulates and redistributes our energy during physical activity. Discs, coins and bracelets made of copper are used to treat many diseases. Copper is even used in the production of rejuvenating cosmetics. But first, copper needs to be mined, extracted and processed. Cos Minerals presents Copper Concentrating the ore extracted from an underground mine or an open pit is delivered to a processing facility by trains, trucks, or using a conveyor. The ore mined at Cos Minerals for underground mines is processed at three concentrators located in the east region of Kazakhstan. The ore only contains a small amount of copper, less than 3%. In order to improve the content of the valuable components, the ore is concentrated at the special processing facilities. Firstly, the ore is weighed and then taken to a receiving bunker. Then, the conveyor delivers it to multiple grinding machines, crushers and mills that crush the ore and reduce the rocks to fine powder. Cause Minerals processing facilities in the East region use cone crushers to crush the ore. Then, ball mills grind it, adding water during the process. The resulting material, liquid mass known as slurry, goes on to the next stage of processing, flotation. The slurry is pumped into flotation tanks and injected with air to create bubbles that intensively circulate in the tank. The hydrophobic ore particles cling to the bubble and are lifted to the surface of the slurry while the waste sinks down. Thus, valuable ore components are separated from the waste material in the ore. At different stages of processing, the ore is mixed with chemical reagents and compounds which help to separate and extract copper, lead and zinc particles from the ore. The resulting material, the combination of water molecules and separated copper, lead and zinc minerals, is known as concentrate. It is too wet at this stage to be transported to the smelter. That's why the next stage is thickening. Using gravity, the precipitation is separated from the liquid in special tanks and the water is separated from the thickened concentrate. Next, the concentrate is taken to a filtering and drying facility to be dehydrated, filtered and dried if necessary. The dried and ready copper concentrate in the form of powder is delivered to a warehouse where it is bagged and loaded onto wagons. But before it becomes part of your mobile phone or your car, the copper concentrate has a long further way to go. And the next stop will be at a copper smelter. 